A number of MPs today, honourable members and right honourable members, have said that they have changed their mind between vote one, vote two and vote three. And there will be many people in the country asking themselves, why is it that MPs can vote three and maybe four times and are entitled to change their minds, but it would be the greatest democratic calamity of all, according to the Prime Minister, to give the public one vote on this deal and give them the right to change their minds. And two things are different about how we are doing this today. The first is the separation of the political declaration from the withdrawal agreement. And the second is the starting gun being fired on a Tory leadership contest. Yes. The political declaration was already vague. But separating it out from the withdrawal agreement makes this the most blindfold Brexit. And we are being asked to vote to leave with no, no idea at all of what the future relationship between the UK and the EU will be. And no attempt to answer the fundamental question that Brexit poses. Do we want a more distant economic relationship where, in all likelihood, Northern Ireland will have to be treated differently from the rest of the UK, or do we want a close economic relationship where we continue to obey the EU's rules, yet give ourselves no say over them? That question must be answered. And now we are being asked to give all of this, to mortgage all of this, to the outcome of a Tory leadership contest, where the battle will be between candidates trying to prove that they are the truest believer of all. Mirror, mirror on the wall will be the question. Who is the most right-wing nationalist of them all? That is what the candidates will be asking.